Welcome back, front of the book talk video. I apologize, there's some weird sound coming from outside. I don't know what it is, and I can't stop people from doing whatever it is that they're doing out there. But anyway, welcome back. It's time for a Writer's Wednesday video. But really, today I'm doing a bonus talk. I want to tell you my story about the play The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. And in doing so, I'm also recommending the play, of course. I absolutely love this play. Oscar Wilde created a masterpiece work with this play. As always with plays, I recommend that rather than just read the work, that you listen to some sort of performance or watch some sort of performance. There have been film adaptations that have been done, but this time I'm not recommending a film adaptation. I'm recommending an audiobook performance. This audiobook was released in 2009, but it was actually recorded, I want to say, 2007 or 2008. And I know that because I was there at the recording for The Importance of Being Earnest Dramatized Edition, starring James Marsters, who you may know from his roles on TV and in films. He played Spike on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who's Captain John Hart in Torchwood. He was the Brainiac in Smallville. He's been on a lot of shows, Hawaii Five-0. You might also know him from narrating the audiobooks for The Dresden Files. James Marsters is a superb actor. And back a long time ago, I want to say it was 2007, I was following the news of the different actors from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, and I saw online that you could get what I thought was realistically cheap tickets to be there for the play with James Marsters acting in it on, like, the fifth row. And I went, wow, those tickets are only, like, $50. I could be right there, see one of my favorite actors in person really close up. And so I bought the tickets for... <laughs> For me and a friend to go, even though I live in Texas and this play was being performed in Los Angeles. Because I also looked online and at that time there were really cheap tickets to fly out and back. But I made a deal with one of my buddies and I actually flew into LA and then flew home from Las Vegas. Because we arranged it to where I arrived in LA met up with my friend, and then we drove to Las Vegas, got to hang out there, and then I flew home. So it was a fun weekend. Short trip, but I was really impressed by the play. And this audiobook stands out because it's a dramatized version with a lot of actors in the roles, and they use the live studio audience recording for the laughter. So the exciting news is, if you get this audiobook, then you get to hear me laughing in the background, which I suppose if you've watched enough of my videos, you might have a sense of what my laughter sounds like. I don't know if you can actually pick it out. I listened to the sample of the audiobook. I haven't purchased it yet, but I think it's really neat. In fact, one of the reviews on audible.com says that the reason that this person liked this version the most is because of that audience laughter, because it makes such a difference as you are thinking about the play and listening to it. I recommend it for that reason in and of itself, but really, it's an amazing play. It's not only Oscar Wilde's masterpiece, as I believe the last play that he wrote, but also it's really witty. The language that's used, the dialogue that's used, and I always appreciate dialogue that's full of subtleties with more going on than what people are saying. This is a play where people are pretending to be other people. The two main male leads pretend to be people that they're not, but it's really weird. I know this play came out a long time ago, so giving spoilers shouldn't be a big deal, but it's really weird in the sense that in this instance, in this play, what people are pretending about and lying about ends up, spoilers here, ends up being true. Not, not that they purposely were lying, Lying to the truth, but through a series of events that are revealed ultimately throughout the play, the things that these men have been pretending turn out to be true after all, and that is just a lot of fun. The way that Oscar Wilde set up the situations with the characters 
and had all of that unfold throughout the play. So if you're a fan of witty dialogue, if you're a fan of fun twists and surprises in a play, then I think you'll really enjoy it. I know I did. All right, that's it for my book talk today. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.